Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at the backup and restore settings available on your Note 8. So go ahead and come into your settings. We're going to swipe down until we see our cloud and accounts. Tap in there and we can see backup and restore. Now by default you're going to be backing up to a Samsung account and because you're also signing into your Google account you're going to be backing up to your Google account. Now with the Samsung one if we tap on backup settings with Samsung we get 15 gigabytes of free Samsung storage and we can have it back up certain things on our device. So we can go with phone, our clock information, our home screen, apps, settings, messages, music, voice recorder, documents, and even back up our photos automatically. If we didn't want to back anything up, just tap on the check mark there, auto backup is off, and we can disable any of the applications we don't want backing up as well. We can also enable a backup now by tapping on backup now, and coming back out here, we can actually restore our Samsung account as well. So if this is a new device, we already have everything synced up into Samsung's cloud, we can tap on restore and it's going to download all that information and begin replacing it on this device. So that can come in handy if you're coming from a previous Galaxy device onto your Note 8. It can help you seamlessly get everything over onto your new device. Now with Google, we can actually back up our data and you see here we have backup my data, it's turned on, we have a backup account. And I can see this account, it's going to go and select that. And with my Google account, I can actually automatically restore everything from a previous device as well. And then with the Google account itself, I can see what's backing up. And I can back up to my Google Drive if I have this enabled on my Google account. For personal accounts, this will come automatically enabled where you can back up to Drive. But because this is a work account, we're seeing that backup is disabled and it needs to be enabled by my admin. So that is something that we can do with backup and restore. Now, if you're looking to completely erase your phone and start over fresh, that's in a different menu now. We're going to go ahead and come back out into our main settings menu, and we're going to come into our actual general management. So tap in our general management, we can now see reset. Resetting here will allow us to reset all of our settings, just our network settings, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other networks. So that what that means is that will erase all of our known Wi-Fi so what that means is that it will erase all of our known Wi-Fi networks and also anything that we've connected via Bluetooth and also reset our mobile cellular data settings. So if we tap on that, it'll go ahead and reset it. We also have factory data reset. What this means is it will erase everything on our phone and make it seem like we just took it out of the box when we first bought it. Keep in mind this will not erase our SD card, so if we have an SD card inserted into our device, it will not erase it. And also we have that SD card decrypted, we will not be able to use encrypted files on the SD card after we reset it to a factory settings. So if you do have encryption enabled on your SD card, you will want to shut that off before doing this. And as you scroll down the page here, you can see everything that's going to be erasing on your device and tapping reset will go ahead and initiate that reset. And if we come back in here, we can even reset our settings. This will not erase anything on our device, but just reset all of our settings. So tapping on there, it sets everything back to our defaults. Any customizations we've done will be reset, such as ringtone, do not disturb. All those things will be discarded, but nothing will be erased from our phone. And we can just go ahead and reset those settings there. And with our phone management, we can also auto restart, which will optimize our phone by restarting it automatically once a week, kind of clearing out any of our cache. But this is mainly the section we're focusing on is our factory data reset and our reset of our network and settings. So that is how you use your backup and restore options on your Galaxy Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.